Hi there, I'm Trucker Ray, and before we get to our presentation, I wanted to share with you a new way to contact me. That's right, I finally got a post office box. A lot of you have been sending emails and leaving comments on my YouTube channel, and that is awesome, but I know some of you still like snail mail. So, if you have something you'd like to send, whether it's a card, or you want to buy me a cup of coffee, or whatever it might be, this is where you send it. P.O. Box 12306 Langley RPO, which stands for Royal Post Office, Logan Creek, British Columbia, Canada, V2Y0Y7. That's P.O. Box 12306 Langley RPO, Logan Creek, BC, Canada, V2Y0Y7. Now, if you're ready, let's get to our presentation. Morning. I am just changing my garbage. I have this little garbage can. You can get these garbage bags at Costco. Four rolls in a box for like, like 24 bucks. And these four rolls will last you all year. I don't like piling garbage on my dash, in my truck. No, you gotta put it in a garbage can. All right. Windows are getting a little foggy here. Well, good morning to you. It's uh, <laughs> a little cool this morning. Also, the uh, weather is changing. I woke up this morning and uh, I looked out my window and I could see a pickup truck driving into the lot and parking over there behind the Flying J and he has a uh, uh, snow plow on the front of his pickup. I'm like, oh great, here we go. Just can't get away from the snow. So it looks like we're gonna get some lousy weather out here. I don't know how, how bad it's gonna be. Uh, last night it seemed fine. Yeah, who knows how thick this is gonna get. It's not a snowfall warning. It's probably just gonna be some light dust. I wouldn't say light dusting, but it'll accumulate I'm sure but I don't think it's gonna be as bad. I bet you I don't have to tell most of you what I just did. Threw my garbage bag out in the middle of the fueling lane like all the other drivers do. Yeah! No, that's not what I did. I checked my pin. Check the pin! Always check your pin. Alrighty, well by the time I get to where I'm uh, delivering these final trees to, it'll be 8.30, so I'm assuming their yard will be open and have access to drivers coming through. They open up at 9 o'clock, I do believe, to customers. If not, I'll park it on the road, it doesn't matter. Just gotta make sure I know what the name of this place is again before I go anywhere. Falk, F-A-L-K, Falk. All right, Falk it is. Falk Nurseries is where I'm taking this one. And I'll tell you something, boy, that Klein J really fills up at night. And this isn't even bad weather we're having out here. When it's really bad weather out here, this is not a place you want to try to park because you never get in there. And these guys will box you in around here. But that's typical of Canadian drivers. Actually, what am I talking about? Excuse me. That's typical of North American drivers now. They just 
as long as they have a parking spot, they don't care who, who they box in. And that's kind of sad. The, uh, you know, the brotherhood of trucking just doesn't exist anymore. Ooh, that's a, that's a nasty hole that wasn't there before. Uh, well, welcome back to Winnipeg, Ray. Home of the, uh, nicely groomed roads. So yeah, I hope we don't get too much of this bad weather. I hope it just makes its way through. Looks like it's all coming from the north. It's going north, north-south. That's where it's heading. Oh well, I'm not really worried about it. Oh, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> you know what, I bet you anything if you're a regular Canadian, I could say, okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, close your eyes. And I want you to guess where we are. Boom, boom, bang, boom, boom, boom. He's got to be in Winnipeg. Yeah. Or Manitoba, anyway. I know. I, every time I come out here, I make a bit of a joke about the roads. But you think they would do something about it after all these years. When I first started truck driving and I used to come into this town... Uh, drive through here with Challenger nothing's changed it's amazing they just have no road maintenance at all here in this province I was really amazed when I seen that they actually improved one road in Brandon I was shocked I'm like wow you don't see that every day out here what was the occasion must have had royalty come through town all right, Ray, you're being too facetious. Knock it off. Okay. Good morning. Can I get a uh, extra large double double decaf, please? Do you guys have decaf here? Do you don't have those little um, cheese um, biscuits, do you? You don't have those there? And how should decaf double double? Double double, please. Yeah, extra large. Okay. I shot my cup. Hopefully you can get some hot water out of this. <coughs> These little cups that you can get at, at uh, Costco, they're called the Stanley Cup. Man, they keep your coffee hot. If the coffee's nice and hot, it'll keep it warm for hours. And I mean hours. <sighs> Which is that tall one? Is that the decaf there? All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Excuse me. Uh, too bad. I don't think this is even hot. It's just gonna be warm. That may not last. Nowadays, they don't want to do your coffee for you. They won't pour it in the mug because they don't want to touch anything. All right. So I just need a garbage. There it is there. Have a good day. You too. There you go. You bet. Alrighty. I got a coffee this morning. I'm so thrilled. They don't have any decaf over at the Pilot or the Flying J over there in Headingley. 
They've gotten rid of all their decaf everywhere in Canada. I don't know why, but I honestly think, people, it's to inconvenience me. I, I mean it, really. Everybody, we're sending a national bulletin across the country. Get rid of all decaf because of Trucker Ray. It's a conspiracy. I know it is. Any of you that believed one word I just said needs to turn off the channel and restart the video. One thing I noticed too, the girls working behind the counter, I, was wa I watched them serve about five customers before I made it to the front and not once did they smile at anybody. But I also observed, not once did any of those, these gentlemen say good morning to them. I walked up to them and said, good morning, as you've seen. Her face just smiled, she lit up. I think that's a great way to change people's demeanor in the morning. Let them know, hey, we appreciate you, what you do here. Because it's not easy doing these jobs at these fast food places like Tim Hortons and McDonald's and that. It, it is a lot of work because you're standing on your feet all day. You're dealing with grumpy customers. And uh, orders are going to get messed up. Not a bad little spot to park here, actually. If they don't have a reload for me, I'm going to come back here until they do have a reload for me. It's better than parking that over in Headingley. Um, at least this way I can get a coffee. But uh, yeah, I know they, they're on their feet all day long and, and uh, it just makes all the difference in the world and you just give them a smile and say good morning. So, yeah. It's better to be friendly than to be nasty. Absolutely. this place yesterday to find out where they were regarding if they were on the north or the south side because uh, that plays a huge role <laughs> you don't want to be looking on the left when it's on the right or vice versa and the nice thing about this little area here it's very wide open so it should be quite easy to find this place because it is a nursery so we'd be looking for uh, that might be it right there. No, that's not it there. That might be a farm there. Oh, maybe that is it. That could be it right there. But that does not appear to be where it is. Oh, I see. I see where it is. See, that's a farm over here. You can't really see it, but if you go a little bit further over, you can see a greenhouse right there in that little clump of uh, trees on the right so that looks like my destination and I'll tell you something if I get into this place and get out of there without any problem I'm gonna be very very happy how this whole thing turned out because whenever you have multiple drops of nursery products two nurseries you just don't know how that's gonna work out now here's the thing where's the main entrance I want to make sure I'm going in the right place. Is that the service entrance? Or 
is this the truck entrance? This has got to be the truck entrance. Oh, it does not look good to go in there. <laughs> that does not look like that's going to be fun. I don't know how on earth you would turn around in there. Ah, uh, see, I knew there was going to be a catch to this. No heavy trucks that way. I guess the heavy trucks go this way. You can see the trucks. I don't see any opportunity to turn around in here. Oh my goodness. I hope I'm not going in the wrong way. I bet you I did. Ah, uh, this is not good. <laughs> not good. I got a feeling I went in the wrong way. I don't see any access to get through there. Well. There comes a guy here. I wonder what he's going to tell me. Does not look like he's telling me to stop. Yep, this is the wrong entrance. I'll bet you dollars to donuts. Yep. Someone's gonna have to block. Someone's gonna have to watch for me while I back out. Let me guess, wrong entrance, right? Right entrance, I just let you to back it. Great. Uh, why didn't they tell me that when I called? I don't know. Okay. I don't have a problem backing in, but I'm gonna need someone to spot me while I get I back do down on the road. Can you do that? All right. Thank you. I phoned ahead of time. What didn't they tell me? I asked the girl, is there anything I should know? Oh, no, no. How about saying you need to back in? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I don't believe it. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. I don't care about backing in. That's easy. But give us an update on what's really going on here. That's not a very busy road though. I don't think I'm gonna have too much of a problem. Hold on a minute. I can't see how close I am to that ditch. Oh, you're so good. Am I? Ay, ay, ay. Ridiculous. This is why you phone ahead of time, so you can get this kind of information, right? <laughs> Come on, that's it. Spin out, baby. Getting in is the easy part. Oh, now the cars aren't gonna let me go. Come on, you guys. <laughs> I'm just laughing at this. You know why? Because <laughs> I knew one of these was going to be like this. I just knew one of these is going to be like this. Ha, 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 ha.
nothing ever goes simple and smooth, huh? I like their logo, Falk Nurseries, and it has a dog with his legs crossed, like he's got to go to the bathroom and he's holding, he's hiding his private parts and it says, need a tree. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're empty and we're done, and now I'm heading over to a washout that's just on the uh, north side of Winnipeg on the Ring Road at uh, when I looked on Google it looks like it's on uh, it's it, it's in the same yard as rig logistics so another trucking company that has a washout bay and I guess they do washouts so that works for me but this time I'm gonna make sure <laughs> Like I said, they tell me how much it's going to cost before they, before they, uh, they charge you. And hopefully they don't like, we want cash, because a lot of the time these places will want cash. It's like, well, I'm not going to give you cash. I don't have cash. They'll have to take a credit card, because I want a receipt of that. And then I can be reimbursed for it, right? Okay. So that'll be another 45 minutes until I get to this place and I still don't have a reload yet. So we are on our way to get washed out. Okay, I am not far away from the place I need to get washed out. Uh, the trick will be finding out where it is. I think it's okay. I think I see it already from here. I see a whole bunch of trucks right over there and that's probably the place right there. So I don't, well, there's trucks everywhere. I mean, that's all about Canada. Everybody and their dog is a trucking company now. There it is right there, rake, I can see it. All right, so I gotta, I'm guessing I gotta go, I gotta go around, make the next right here. I believe it's Farmer Road. And it'll be right at Rake Logistics there. Just gotta drive in and then ask somebody where their washout bay is and go from there. I heard from my dispatch and uh, they may be trying to get me a load out of the uh, Manitoba area to Washington. It's a potato load or something, maybe. I really hope not. Those are such dirty loads. Not very pleasant at all. But it's not for sure. So what I'm going to do when I'm done here is I'm just going to go back to the Flying J and park it there until I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Because there's nowhere to park around here. Uh, where is the main entrance? Straight ahead here. And we got trucks all over the place. Or is there an entrance around the corner? Truck and trailer wash right there. Is that the entrance or is that the exit? Oh man. That's the exit. I wonder if they're gonna tell you if it's the entrance or the exit. Oh my word. 
See, there's no signs at all telling you whether it's the entrance or exit. You can't tell. <sighs> Is that the entrance? Ah, there's a guy right there. Hi there. Is that the entrance? Is that the entrance? No, brother. Is that the entrance to the trailer wash? Go around in the back? Outside. Okay, I think he's trying to tell me to go around. Okay. So, go around the back? Turn around? The inside, outside, and the entry gate. On the other side? On the other side. Okay, thank you. See, if they have a sign there, trucks enter this way, you wouldn't have to have this issue. Why don't people just put a sign up and make your life a little easier? Look at all the little birds, all getting all the worms. Okay, well it's nice to know I found it. This is another mud pit. Oof. Terrible. Well, I wonder what this is going to be like. They have a nice clean wash bay. It isn't going to look like that when I'm done. Like good? Uh, yeah. Taylor inside was? Yeah. Okay. Hello. How are you? Um, did my um, boss call you guys already? Uh, Key West Express for the washout? No, we still didn't get on. Maybe yesterday? Might be. I'm not sure. Okay. okay so your trailer is kind of sort of extra charges. Yeah. Well, do you know what it's going to be just so I know? probably hundred dollars okay was, like last time it was too bad like last to last time we charged hundred and twenty dollars yeah hundred. okay hundred, hundred and twenty. okay that's good yeah. all right fair enough um well how do you take what kind of payment do you take yeah it's all up to you if you want to give us a credit card the company's card on the phone or your card Anyway. Okay, I'll give them a call and ask them how they want to do yeah. it, but I can just pay it with my credit card if you and then they can reimburse me later. Yeah, no problem. I can give you the invoice and everything. Sure. Which having a trailer number and a call. Yeah. Yeah. So let me just wait for the time. Yeah, yeah. How much time it's going to take. Sure. And then I can charge you afterwards. Okay. Right? Are, are you guys separate from Rig? Uh, yes. You are, eh? Yeah, that's so, the other company. What's your hours here? Uh, we are 24 hours. Away. Are you really? The washout is? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see how these guys are making out here. Yeah, it's a little messy, huh? Yeah, we had a whole bunch of trees to deliver, yeah. Do you get do you get loads like this? Sorry? Do you get trailer? Do you have? Does this happen a lot? Do you get loads yeah, yeah, like yeah. this? You do, eh? Yeah. 
Because this is smart. Sometimes we uh, remove potatoes. Oh, the potatoes? The potatoes? Yeah, yeah. Those are really dirty, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is a smart idea. Yeah. You don't just drop it on the ground. Yeah. Just dump it in the back. Yeah. Land yeah. Landfill. Yeah. So how long do you figure? An hour? Mm. Or half an hour? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. I'm just going to wait inside. Okay. Oh, these guys are super nice. Way better than that other place. Expertique Fleet Services. <laughs> That's my review. How's it looking? Okay, done. Yeah. Looks good. Looking good. It's good. Yeah. Oh, they did a really good job. Uh, what's your trailer number? Uh, 5330, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 5330. Is business good? At the moment, quiet. It's quiet? Yeah. Yeah. Do you do a lot of washouts for rig? Uh, yes. You do? And what, the local companies too? The local companies, yes. Oh, okay. And we do mobile too, so we have mobile services as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. So oh. trucks in the yard, so we go there and, you know, What do you charge for mobile? Uh, it depends. Like if it's in the area, then we charge normal. But if it's like so five, ten kilometers away, then we charge accordingly. Like if you're at the Flying J over there, what what is that? Is that about five or six kilometers away, or, or is it? Uh, is it a Hennigley? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably just service house. Yeah, it's ten ten yeah. fifteen dollars. For the for the travel yeah. plus the washout. So what is it for a washout? Normal washout for a trailer. Um, Normal trailer, right? Just yeah. They have no anything. Inside. Was it about fifty bucks or something or forty? Yeah. Okay, that's not yeah. too bad. Plus travel charges. Yeah. I mean, say fifty. Or yeah. Well, that's not bad. That's good. Okay. Well, thank you so very thank much. You, thank you. We'll very see much. you again. Nice you. Yeah. You. Take care. Well, friends, I have to admit, that is a good deal. Also, stop it. It always wants you to put the brake on when you're getting ready to drive. But what's wrong with this thing? Okay. Super nice people. Very, very nice. And uh, the washout, very happy with that. The owners, as you can see, were very, very nice. Those were the owners there. Very nice people. Uh, they are called, uh, in Winnipeg, if you're looking for a good trailer washout, DM Truck Wash. Okay, that's the short form. <laughs> DM Truck Wash. They're 24 hours out here, the rate uh, right off the perimeter road here, off the Brookside Road. Uh, that exit, what was that? The 101 perimeter, you take the Brookside turn off. Brookside, Brookside Boulevard. You take that turn off and you just head to her, or, or either that or just look for rig logistics. Merit Functional Foods. Right in this little area. What a nice little setup that is. 24 hours, really nice. $45 as you heard for a trailer washout. If you come in, that's really good considering it costs you $50 like that American for one out in the US. So they do a really nice job. And yeah, if you guys need a trailer washout or a truck wash or whatever, yeah, check it out. You know, I really honestly don't mind promoting a company if they treat you good and and they, uh, you know, they're not out to uh, steal from you. <laughs> so I was really happy with that. It's really awesome. Okay, so now I am going to be heading to the Flying J. Uh, 
because uh, I don't I have not heard anything from the ownership or dispatch or anybody so I really don't know what I'm going to be doing so I'm just going to go down to the Flying J and I'm just going to park it there Just wait until I hear from somebody.